The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex. And more sex. Are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, welcome to the podcast. Tuesday night, it is the 11th of February, 2014. Good Times with Mo, the podcast brought to you by Globe. Phone number 4787954, Skype, the Good Times podcast. You can text us, 0927-214-1981. While we usually have Carlos Saldran on Tuesdays, he is uh, working tonight, or I think has some sort of engagement tonight, and he can't be here uh, tomorrow because we already booked Joyce Spring tomorrow. So it's uh, Bianco. Sorry, Bianco. We're just kind of throwing these schedules all weird and around and stuff like that so okay. um, thanks for being I know usually you're here on Wednesdays but then you'll be here today on Tuesday and then of course um, it's we'll okay I like Carlos. to change positions all the time oh yeah that's right that's mm. right I don't <laughs> and I just like one way and that way you're like a very one time. one highway kind of guy I'm conservative because yeah, you know, my parents <laughs> um, uh, how are you how was your day Good I'm stuff? good. Um, I hosted an event today for Singapore Tourism Board. That's why I'm still dressed in the outfit I wore earlier today. You know. Do they pay you money or do they tell you, oh, we'll give you free trips to Singapore? It depends. Well, for this one in particular, it's, uh, they paid me. I wish what? I could go to Singapore. I mean, I, I'm sure I could work something out, but you know, I'm not like you where I'm sure you can say something and then they'll just drop their pants and be like, yeah, I'll take you to Singapore. No, it's just, it's, it's, it's just, uh, you know, when I think about it, uh, like now that I live here a simpler life, yeah, I really shat on some uh, opportunities to travel even more than I was already traveling just because I was busy. You know, like when you're in the business and, you know, you're busy yes. and, this, you know, you've got a ton of shows and all of that stuff, which I gave up to be here. Like I remember, fuck, I remember, I think it was a Singaporean tourism board going, hey, listen, can we fly you into Singapore so you can just kind of try out the new Sentosa and all that? I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'd love to. I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> it's like free trip and all that stuff. Or, I I I remember um, I was I had to, I was supposed to go to Ireland to interview, um, gosh, is it Andrea Core, the re the pretty one of the cores from from before? Oh and my I was god, like, I love the cores. And I was like, oh, course. I you know I wish I could, but I can't because I'm I'm just like in the middle of making something. You know, I was like in the middle of doing something really stupid, and I was like, ah, eh. they go, well, we'll fly to to Ireland. Uh, where Dublin? Eh. And Are you serious? Okay, well, yeah, it's just, it's just now I'd be like, oh fuck yeah, let's go, you know. I know there I, I are a lot of things I regret too, because like in the past, I never used to like to go on vacation. Like my family, my family travels like quite often in the year, and uh, I I never go, and it's because I I was such a workaholic. Like I would rather work than go on vacation, and. Um, and then, you know, just last year, just taking a break and stuff like, you know, I, I, I realized a couple of things like shit, dude, life is short. <laughs> so it's well, only it's even, lately I, it's, that I'm starting to actually enjoy 
Well, aside traveling. from the life is short thing, because it's it's kind of Captain Obvious. We all yeah. say that, but you know. But God, honestly, as knows. as obvious as if it is, true. sometimes it takes certain things to make you boom, like realize it. Yeah. I think it's more do not waste opportunities. That's all yeah. it is. Whether life is short, long shit, you can die tomorrow, and it's even shorter than yeah. you think it was. It, it's just don't miss out on the opportunities. That exactly. That's what you, I, I'm, that's I'm doing really now. The shitty part. Yeah. I remember once booking. I think I said this on the podcast before. Yeah. I remember booking a flight to Nepal because I wanted to see Mount Everest. Uh, right. Mount Everest. So right. I booked a flight to Kathmandu and I completely forgot that I booked a flight to Kathmandu and I booked a flight to Paris on the same day with the same airline. And it's weird that they didn't tell me that I had a flight with them already for the day and how uh, for some, I, I know they're supposed to tell you those yeah. things. So I remember then on the day they're like, okay, you know, they told me on the day, oh, by the way, you have two flights. I'm like, how come you didn't tell me that when I, when I paid for the other one? Nevertheless, which one do you want to take? I'm like, I have to pick one now. I'm like, I'm like okay, do I go to Paris? Do I go to, I'm like, okay, I'll go to Paris. But you know, it's just these opportunities where you waste. It is kind of like when I think about it, and I'm like, fuck. I would have gone to Nepal, though. Nah, it was cold. It was like fucking yeah. like. I don't Only know, because like it's not like, as it, common. So, you know, I'm always up for seeing new things and just nah. new experiences. And yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, speaking of the Singapore Tourism Board, yeah. let's talk to one other people's. Uh, first person on the line is Alyssa. She's on line five, okay. Singapore. What's going awesome. on, baby doll? Hello. Hi. Hey, 25. Hey, Alyssa. Hi. How are you Hi, doing, Alyssa. guys? Hello. Um, my question is, uh, do you guys tell their girlfriends about past one-night stands? It depends. Mm-hmm. I'm sure well, they added a couple of things, but... Guys in general. Were you asking? I'm asking, yeah. No, no. Were you asking your boyfriend about it or was he just bragging? No, I'm just wondering because I slept with a guy before and um, and his present girlfriend is kind of in the same circle as I am. So I'm, I don't know if she knows. Oh. Oh, so you just, okay, you're worried that she's going to find out yeah. that you slept okay. with yeah. your boyfriend. That, your changes that changes everything. That changes the whole question when, altogether. Whenever we're in the same, um, I don't know, social gathering no, he's not going to say anything because he's not, he's not stupid enough to say anything. And if he does say anything, that just shows that he's a retard, and they'll probably break up. <laughs> like you, you, you know your brown. Like guys like to brag. You know, guys like to brag. Who yeah, I was going to say guys, guys like, to, like to brag. But they also know not to do that. Like they know which ones are going to get them in trouble and which ones are going to get them like high fives from everybody else. Go, oh, you fuck that girl, high five. But the, the, you know not to. You know that there are. There's there's a danger involved in who you say who you slept with to who you say it to, so I I don't think your girlfriend's gonna find I mean your friend's gonna find out mm-hmm. if he she does find out it would be more because the guy was drunk or stupid or did something really outrageous yeah but, you know as common common conversation he's not gonna say anything now is oh. this your best friend's boyfriend no, no she, they uh, said they just run in the same circles. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Just some girl that my, my friends are also friends with. Uh, a friend of friends. So even, so even if she does find out he slept with you, so what? It's not like, you know, there's no... Bro- yeah, I mean, what's your worry? What's your worry want if she finds out? Me. I don't want her friends to talk about you. me that way. Um, well, you know, there's that. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, how long, when, when did you sleep with him? How long ago? Well, this was uh, maybe four years ago. Oh, he, they would have known by now. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they, if he was going to say something, he would have said it by now. You're going to be good. And yeah, I was thinking it happened like six months ago, or at least like at the most like a year. But the fact that well, it was no, such they a probably long... just got together. So I think that's where her worries kick in. Is like, oh my god, now they're they're, they're mug on. Fuck, I fucked yeah. that guy. Fuck, she's going to find out. I mean, it helps that it happened such you? a long time ago. Yeah, I know. It's like it's four years ago. Please, yeah, yeah. no, you're fine. All right. Okay. okay. Um, I have another question to follow up. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Go. So if I'm dating a guy and he asks if I've ever had a one night stand, am I, am I supposed to tell the truth or do I lie um, about it? It's up to girls, you. Girls usually don't. Um, <laughs> uh, the great majority of females always lie about this stuff. I mean, it, it's, it's the lies. Uh, I'd say just don't say anything just to keep it consistent with all girls. Because if all girls are lying and you tell the truth, then you're then you know, he might have this weird impression of you. Yeah. No, no in, I think- in a perfect world, I would love you girls to tell the truth all the time, but come on, we have to be realistic. It's like when you write a resume, everybody pads their resume. 
when they're uh, when they're applying for a job, they put shit there, or they make themselves look better than they are. So, what if you go, oh, Mo, should I pad my resume, or should I just tell the truth on my resume? I'm like, okay, well, you should tell the truth, but you're going to look less of a candidate because everybody else is padding their resume. So you almost now have to pad the resume too. I guess it, it, also, it also depends, for example, if the guy that you're dating started off really as, you know, like a friend and these are the things you share, then maybe then it shouldn't be a problem. But if this no, is a guy so where, no, I mean, <laughs> sometimes when you end up, uh, let's say, dating a friend, then they already know like you, the dirty side of you, you know, all the things that that a typical guy that you would like don't don't really know about you. So, yeah, just to be just to be safe, you don't want him to have this impression of you. And again, guys have this thing where they just having to imagine that somebody else's penis was in you before him. Yeah, they have problems with that. So just well, best I don't think they have a problem say. with that per se because we all know, like you know, people are going to have sex. I think it's just they, he, first of all, he doesn't need to know. It's kind of like big they deal. know, it's, but they don't need to know. Right? Yeah. It's a personal thing. They there. don't need to know. Yeah. You don't have to share that shit with them. Yeah. And hey, all girls are lying anyway. Just fucking lie. Like lie like all of them. Look, look at Bianca here. I mean, she's telling you to tell the truth. But remember, when we asked Bianca when she first got here, how old she lost her virginity? Oh, she said wait. sixteen. And then hold she on, said I want to put 18. that on I mean, record. I actually have a, someone who tweeted, and they mm-hmm. actually said that um, in one episode or something. I actually like said the truth like I really did I know no no you did say the truth when you lied on another episode about it. it's fine listen we're not going to take it against you because I understand all girls do it I'm just using it as an example you're not the only one okay I, I don't think I've ever met a girl who didn't lie about how many audience members if you can find that episode where I supposedly I really didn't lie because I have nothing to lie. I told my mom on the day itself, you know? So if I if I did was- lie if I actually said a different age than no, seriously, everybody. But, I, okay, enough. Regardless, that's not the point. Let's just talk about this girl. What I'm saying is, a lot of girls lie. Not all girls. Bianca doesn't lie, but a lot of others do. Yeah, I really and, don't. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I've never met a, a, a girlfriend or whatever, or a friend, a female who didn't lie about either how many people they slept with or how old they were. This, and in the end, who cares? It doesn't matter. I like. No, okay. You, you know, from personal whatever. experience, like I'm the type who says who shares everything with a guy, because. I don't want shit crawling on me, crawling up on me. I, I just say everything because, you know, the whole friendship, blah, blah, blah thing. And I've had guys tell me like, dude, you don't need to say it. It's like, it's really not necessary. We don't want visuals. It's like, dude, How it's cool. How can you prove you were lying or not? See, that's the thing. No one's going to prove it. No one can prove it. It's because nobody can prove it, there's no need to tell the truth. Well, yeah, that's also one point. Yeah. It's like, why are you telling these people about yourselves? They can't yeah. prove shit. I guess it's also different if, you if your guy stand, actually asked you is different from just know, offering the information. Is like, okay, if somebody, if some, okay, let's girl, girl on the phone, Alyssa. If your boyfriend yeah. says, did you ever, ever have a one night stand and you had a one night stand with Pico and you say no, but Pico says, yes, I did. All you go is, okay, prove it, fucker. How the fuck are you going to prove it? Nobody can prove it. Unless he made a sex tape, nobody can prove it. Well, that's true. Whether you lied or not, nobody can prove it. So it's better to lie. It lessens the problems. All right? Unless you're the type like Bianca who needs to tell the truth at all times, then go ahead. Please do. Fuck you, All I'm saying... No. What the fuck me? I just fucking gave you a fucking compliment. You sound like just so said, sarcastic. Okay. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being fucking honest. Listen, why would you have to lie about the decisions you made in your life? Why? The, your decisions and your, no one else should care about them. That's true. It shouldn't be anybody's problem. It shouldn't be anyone's concern. But however, but however, we don't live in that world. We live in a world of judging and fucking, you know, reputations are important. And it, it's, it's sad, but it's true. And because it is true, I'm telling you to fucking lie. So, okay, is this one option then? Because sometimes, like, I would rather not lie. So what I do is I just keep quiet. You know, can you actually do that and be like, because I'm sure... And again, so in a perfect no world, comment. you're watching a movie. No, no, no in a movie. No comment mo- means yes. Okay. Because in some movies, and again, I, it may sound ignorant, but, you know, it's never really happened to me in, in a situation where, you know, they'll just be like, do we have to talk about things like this? Uh, the moment you say that, I would think you've had at least half a dozen fucking one night stands. No. Okay. So okay. for uh, you, like, not saying anything would be like... 
Yeah, no, no comment is you. You just leave it up to their imagination to think about you. If you just say because no, sometimes I don't comment because it's, no. it's like you're not worth the reply to. Like I guess uh, it's different yeah, if it's the, a boyfriend. This is the guy you're dating. Yeah. yeah All I right, guess. Alyssa, you're fine. Just, just fucking lie. All right. All right. Just All right. fucking okay. lie. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Thanks, guys. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Or just think about who you're dating. I mean, like if you're dating a guy who's super modern and up to the and, and really fair. Yeah, because I was just gonna say like fine. you want to tell the truth, tell the truth. To some but, uh, no, because right. I was also gonna say like I a, a guy who actually asks you right off the bat. So tell me how many guys you fuck. You know, like one night stand. Like, are there still guys who actually ask? That? <laughs> yeah, of course. What are you oh, talking really? about? Oh, really? Don't you? I thought you said you had an Ask FM account. You don't notice. I I've never actually had that question before. No, but you don't notice the the, the frame of like the, the the logic that that most men have or many of them have that you don't you think that that question won't be out of the ordinary. Well, yeah, that's true. Because what I always get was, why won't you go anal? <laughs> Yeah, well, why? Why? Uh, I just fucked my girlfriend, and no her anal. pussy was her pussy was loose. That means she's a lying whore, right? It's like, okay, you guys are fucking idiots. All right, <laughs> you know, fuck, you're dumb. You know, oh, and and God. a lot of people are like that. Yeah. All right, let's go to line six. Talk to Aiko, who's twenty. Hey, Aiko. Good morning. Sorry. Good Hi. evening. You're a part of the world. Good evening. You're in Marikina. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hi. Um. Okay. Uh, the thing is, what happened to me? Um, I fell in love with my best friend and we've been friends for like three years. Uh, and then, uh, this Christmas I confessed to her and, um, she said that, um, sorry, she didn't like me back. Um, yeah. Uh. My okay. question and, is... And your question? Uh, okay. And the thing is, uh... After a few days, uh, our friendship was over. Like, she stopped talking to me. She's ignoring me now. And, well, I don't know what to do. Should I yeah. give up on the friendship? I mean, that's what I was worrying about, well, I the go, friendship. Okay, I go, was she? No, no, you weren't. Did, did uh, that, she know we, that you're gay? Saying. Or, like, yeah. she always she knew gay? you were gay? Um, okay, I am bisexual. Wait, who cares if she knew she, you were gay? Is she gay? Um, yeah, she had. She likes another girl. She likes okay. what? All right. She likes you. Another girl. Oh, she does. Oh, okay. Because I thought it was kind of like she didn't know you were gay, and then suddenly you just sprung it on her, and she got you know. Oh, so she does know, and she's gay as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm. Okay. So wait a minute. Does she have a girlfriend or what? What? Sorry. She does likes she have someone. a girlfriend? She says she likes someone else. Um. No. She doesn't have a girlfriend. She just likes another girl. Okay. Hmm. And then suddenly she just bailed on you? Yeah. It's kind of like, weird, man. She I, just I, stopped I, talking to me and she, she ignores me. And the thing is, I see her every day. And like, she's, she and you'd hurts. say that she's your best friend? Yeah. Like, sort of. She, I mean, we're friends for a few years. So, yeah, I consider her as my best anyway, friend. Anyway, hold on, Aiko. What's your question for us? She um, said, she "Should I just give up on the friendship because oh, yeah. she just doesn't want to talk to me anymore?" Um. Um. I think right now, if you force the issue, the more she's going to back off for whatever reason, whether she's so ilang or she is trying to, because it could be a possibility of things where she cut it off because she doesn't want to encourage you. You know, that could be one. And then by cutting off all ties, then, you know, you'll get the point. And maybe, hopefully, when your feelings die down, then maybe in time you guys can be friends again and try to get things back to normal. Or she just really freaked out and she's just really ilang and she doesn't know what to do. And her initial reaction is just avoidance, you know, like she doesn't know how to react to the situation. Um, but the, the commonality of both things is... Right now, you can't force the issue of trying to get an answer from her or an explanation or whatnot. I think you got to let her be the one to make the move. Okay. Yeah, I think you just give up temporarily. Yeah. Kind of like cool down a little bit. I'm just shocked that she, that she just decided to not yeah, talk too. to you anymore. That's because if she's trait. open to like dating girls or she's homosexual as well, 
she should know that the chances of you guys being attracted to each other are huge. Yeah. Like, I'd understand if, again, she would just go cold turkey on you because she wasn't gay and she didn't exactly. like agree with a homosexual lifestyle. But yeah. if she's homosexual as well, and then you tell her that you like her, I mean, so what? What's the big deal? Whether you guys are friends or whether you're not friends, you don't just start ignoring somebody right. completely you know it's it's kind of like it's it's rude on her part it and is I think and she to think least... she is supposedly your best friend i mean at least as a decent human being as your best friend she should at least say something can address it yeah yeah so at this point i think you know what why don't you just kind Give of let her, her maybe maybe she's a little shocked maybe she was okay she didn't look at you at that way by any means and then you just shocked her with these news mm -hmm. but she should be mature enough to understand that the possibility is high that's why I don't like her immaturity, don't like her behavior, mm. but again, give her some time, maybe she'll come around. If not, screw it. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, I mean okay. easier said than done, but right now you really have no control. You just really, like genuinely, you just have to wait for her to make the move. And the more you force it, the more she's not going to do it. And if anything, maybe she might even be annoyed with you. Do you know what I mean? So, or send her a card for like, send her a card for Valentine's Day and just apologize. If you, I mean, if yeah. she really means so much to you, then again, this is another thing where you're going to have to lie. Say sorry. Hey, I'm really sorry. I didn't know that it was going to create such a big problem. Yeah. Um, but hey, listen, I'm not going to bug you anymore. If you ever want to talk about it or if you want to just kind of set things straight and put some boundaries on our friendship, just Text me, give me a call, and you know we, we'll At talk least it just out. Let in the meantime, me know. Yeah. You know, listen, if I if I uh, hurt your feelings in any way, or do you feel kind of um, let down by you know my honesty, well, I apologize. But you know, just, fuck it, whatever, man. You, it's it's hard to it's hard to say sorry for, for so, she didn't for even do anything the truth, wrong, yeah, right. But if it's, if it's bothering you that much, and you kind of just want a clean slate. Give her a card on Friday and just say, hey, sorry, I fucking said that. Whatever. You know, blah, blah, blah. blah. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. All right? All right. Good yeah. stuff. Thanks for the call. Okay, take Appreciate care. It. Bye. Thank you. Let's take a break. When we come back, we got a lot more calls to get to, so we'll try to do them fast. I know the staff wants to get out of here early tonight as well, so Why? again, we'll try to... Um, well, we'll... we'll, we'll Talk better off here. It's it's kind of it's a boring answer that doesn't need to be done on air. It's a Let's take a break when we answer. come back. <laughs> yeah, they just want to go home early. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Taking a break. Back after this. More with your calls. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. What's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across country. See? I see one right there. Hmm. What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent... It's HQ, do you read me? Respond, Agent Do you copy? What's your status? Agent, do you copy? Do you copy? What's Where am I? There seems to be no signal tower in this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agent CT! Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. No 
citizen. Oh, citizen. Secure permission. Secure permission. To the homeowners association meeting. Homeowners Association Office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh, great. Just a proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites, we need to set up a cell site within this village. We don't need that. Your laptops, no, your cell phones, your tablets, they feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. Oh. But what about the health risks? Yeah, Fear not. Health risk? Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi, completely harmless. Think about That's it. Exactly what Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. I agree! I'm going to call my father now. Yeah! That's exactly what we need! Thank you! Thank you! No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That's Super Agent CT now! It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program, it is Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by Glow. Phone number 4787954. Skype is the Good Times podcast. You can text us 0927 214 1981. Bianca Valerio is here. You can follow Bianca. On Twitter, at Bianca underscore Valerio. Thank you. Tell her that you fucked her. A couple times. In the past. Off air, uh, Bianca's telling me the story about how some uh, somebody... Um, you don't have to tell it, Bianca, because you say it so passionately. I'll just kind of do it calmly. Somebody <laughs> posted on your Facebook that he had sex with you a couple of years back. And, no, no, no. Uh, In particular, appalled. I quote. I fucking quote. Okay. Tang ina ang kapal ng mukha niya, Clarence Santos, it's one whoever person. the fuck you are. Bianca, okay? relax. It's one person. Do I have to tell you this story again about how never to be affected by one person? No, it's just more of like, I'm sorry. I'm sure your dick is so tiny and gross and dark and hairy and just... Don't you love how the conyos make fun oh of people? Oh my God. Like... The worms wouldn't awesome, even like. have sex with you because it's that small. Like he had the fucking nerve to like comment on my on I, on a public post, and he said like, "Ano yun alat?" And they like, niya, I'd fuck you again like I did years ago, girl. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> like I this. may not do the <laughs> black snap of you know <laughs> like. <laughs> You will be shot, I'm telling you. If you ever <laughs> <people that way. sighs> Make fun of me, Mo. Go fucking ahead. You're not going to do I don't have sex. <laughs> I 
would rather never have sex than have sex with a fucking Claren Santos, whoever the fuck you are, okay? Gross. Ew, kadire. Mga bulbol niya, kadire. I'm sorry, no. Hashtag, just grossing out, okay? Just grossing out. <laughs> <laughs> When did we book Rufa for tonight's program? Hi, Nako Hemingway. Don't you love? Okay, can, can I make fun of you now a little bit? But like, in, but you know, because I love you and you're like a big, you're like a sister to me. Can I just make fun of you? What? Here's the thing, love. Now, you're social, yeah. You're a conio social. That's what you are. Okay. And you guys, your minds don't work well when you insult people. It doesn't sound right off you guys. It sounds kind of off. Meaning what? Go- it's not as repulsive. <laughs> Yeah, or you, guys don't do a good, you guys don't do a good job. I've never met one social person, like one Konyo guy who hurt the feelings of another even person. A guy, by the even a guy. Even a guy. Yeah, even a guy. Even a guy because nobody takes it seriously. Like the moment you guys like, Putangina, OMG. We're just sitting there. It's more like a song now to us. We're just listening. Like, what does that sound like? What is that? What word is that she's saying? It, you, it doesn't have the effect that a guy from the inner No, this is a very Konyo guy they, thing they, to say. Puta pare, I was in Polo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, whatever, like whatever. You get my point. You, you, yeah, that is the whatever. most cordial hey, thing Bianca, ever. Hey, relax. Yeah. Relax. Trust me. Mm. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not effective. But I'm trying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, no. how would Maybe, you say it then as a normal oh, no, no, non conyo no, no. person? How, I don't how know, would you insult this person? Listen, you're asking the fucking master. Exactly. No, you are the master. Right. So how would you so, say it? Well, I need to first fucking see what he's got to bring to the table. I mean, the, first of all, I wouldn't be bothered by it unless he fucked up the grammar. Like, I, I have, there has to be certain okay, criteria nerd. for me to respond. Because if not, all I want is to make myself look good. See, that's the difference between you and I. And I think that's what you forget as, as a social person is you're, you're, um, not a lot of people make fun of you in life. And because of that, you guys are oh, more that's not repulsed true. by you. No, it's true. I'll tell you. Hold on. Before you go on, it's not true. You don't know what the life is like for the guy who grew up on the fucking streets. You, when, when you, when you Richie Poos get made fun of, you guys take it so fucking personal. It's, uh, Pico, get over here. Or Anne, somebody back me I up I love here. how you, don't you have talk to agree. about me like you know everything about me. No, no, no. I don't know everything about you. I know everything about you guys. I know everything about your kind. My people. Now, Pico, am I off or well, am I right? Am I right, Pico? right? Pico? Yeah. Sorry. Pico. No, Pico. Sorry, having no, no, be honest. Yeah, He's okay. eating. See, yeah, thank yeah. you. No, no, and you honestly mean I'm right, or you're just saying that because you know you fucking Bianca. Pico. No, I'm serious. It's it's okay. Nothing. So here's what it is. Okay, hold on. If it happened to me, we got a lot of calls. If it happened to me, it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing because our whole lives have been built around being insulted. Here's the problem with you, Richie Poos. When you guys get insulted, even by one measly insignificant person. Do you realize that's O-M-G. not an insult, right? What I got was not an insult. It's an insult. No, an insult. insult is like he because it's a backhanded compliment that he actually. Do you know no, what I mean? No, but no, for me, no, it's like, not. oh my god, you would actually think okay, that no, I would sleep so, with someone to like you. Ew, See gross. that? That's exactly what you're doing now. Is exactly what you don't need to do because nobody will listen to you. That's my point. Because I when sound like a Scooby Doo. Th- what? Because you sound like a a girl. Rich brat. That's what I'm saying. If you want results, Bianca, you can't you you can't fight it with volume because your kind of volume is the volume that no one listens to. And how would I let's say let's say I need more coaching? You know why? In okay, you know why? Cl- you know why classy that? people? You know how? You know if you ever watch it, like a Downton Abbey, for example. Yeah. And when they get insulted, you know how they do it? The classy what? people. Yeah. They shrug it off. They go, hmm. "Hey, you're." Poor. Oh yeah, I do it. And that's it. It's 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 quiet. It's it's straight to the point. It's. I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, you're poor. Get, hey, somebody give. Girl, me you na, you na, na, ka. No, that's what. I'm talking about. It's not the volume. It's not the fucking. Oh, I'm OMG. not mata pobre, Mo. Listen, seriously. I would rather you be that. It's more effective, is what I'm saying. Oh my god, I can't. It's do more that. effective. 
I, I'm because more afraid when you of, sw- of small penis when the, than okay, I am when the, so, of, when the like, socials when the socials try to go down to the level <laughs> of of us, the ones who fucking who are out there on the front lines of insulting people and being insulted. Yeah. When you try to, it doesn't fit you well. I'm asking you to be classy. Let the dirty work be done by the ones who are on the front lines. That's us. When I say us, like, oh, Mo, who are you? You're you fucking, you've got a lot of money. Yeah, but I didn't always have this. I was in the front lines of getting called shrimp, this, that. Oh, I was me. I was far. I was up there, man. And the way we insult people, it's different. We do it the right way. I have to admit, yeah. I've seen some of your Ask FM answers. Yeah, Damn. and I do it right. I know, I love it. I love it because I think you were born to say, like, you know, to really no, put people on the No, we're battle tested. It's the difference between being born for it and being battle tested for it. See, that's why you take, you take another, like, teenage, that's why you take these teenage sons of congressmen or something like that. You call them coops. It's like, you fucking socials, get the fuck out of my face. You know nothing yeah, what it's like, like to be insulted. I find people like that yeah. I, I do. That's what you sound like. I sound like that, but it doesn't mean that I am like that. But what? No one's listening is my point, Bianca. Okay. Nobody's listening. Well, anyway, the moment, whoever it, you it, are, the you the moment have a we really hear a certain penis, accent, and I hope see, you swallow you're doing it, it wrong like a big back. I see, didn't that, raise my voice. I said it very nicely. It's not that. It's that fucking. <laughs> that it's that. Corn. It's that cool corn. It's like your your dick is like TikTok. It's like it doesn't work. So Pico's going to teach me how to be more insulting in a really like no, normal way. No, you know what you do. Like I said, you take the high road. That's what you guys are built for. You realize when fucks around with I've you, you gotten go, a lot you? of uh, comments that were whatever, and but this is the one that really like oh my god, I'm grossly off- I'm grossly offended that you would actually think that I. Would like, yeah. All right, all right open all right, my whatever. legs. We're not getting anywhere with like you. you. There, that's the answer. That's it. You know, no, no, that's no. Now, now you're not doing it. You, do you get my point? <laughs> yes, I do. Stop I do. trying to be us. When, when, when you, when you got a caller calling the show yeah. who obviously doesn't speak, say, English very well, pero pinipilit niya, and then he's starting to try to use hard words that he doesn't even know what they mean, okay. what do you do? You go, hey, hey, relax. Just so use in what other you're words, to when use. I'm really angry, I should really you not like raise my voice. Oh, please. Okay. Let's try. You sound like a poser. You're not one of us. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Ange will right, teach me it. later. Okay. Anyway, right. moving on. Fuck. 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 Um, Fuck. Mm. Who do we got here? Let's go to line. Shit. We got cell phones. We got landlines. And we got uh, Skype. All ready to go. Um, let's just go to Jericho first. Okay. I, I said Jericho will be third, but let's put him first because he's on a cell phone. Jericho, you are on line six. You are 23 years old. Pasig. What's up? Yes. Hi, Mo. Hey, Echo. Yeah. How can I help you? Sorry. Uh, I'm just quite nervous. nervous. Yeah. No problem. It's okay. You fucking piece of shit. See, yeah. you see, he's not affected by it. That's what my point. Thank you, Jericho, for laughing. I'm trying to teach Bianca here that you, Jericho, and myself have lived our lives being ridiculed and 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 and, and said putang inamotu constantly, and we just yeah, bounce, yeah, bounces yeah. right <laughs> off us. You see, Bianca, you see so, the beauty behind it. No. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Because I'm not right. like you. I'm above that. I. Oh, oh, okay. Learning. I see. Lovely. All right, Echo. What do you that? got, buddy? Yeah, uh, by the way, I'm just a huge fan of the show. Uh, I've listened Thank from you. day one of the podcast. And your dick yeah. is TikTok. See? That's not effective. <laughs> All right, what do you got, buddy? What do you yeah, got? Yeah, um, I know, guys, that especially you know that you have zero, zero tolerance in cheating, yeah? That's just and, you, um, right, sir. No, that's um, me. <laughs> that's my not girlfriend me, um, cheated on me. How dare you? Um, <laughs> just, I just knew it from uh, last Monday, and we've been together for three years now. And um, since then, it was everything was totally fine. Uh, I can say that's perfect for me. But last week, I just knew that she cheated on me. Um, actually, I already forgave her. But I just can't forget what happened. Did you beat the guy up? I just... Not yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I, I think I don't want to do that anymore because I know that it's the guy's fault, but it will not happen if Mm-mm. there is uh-uh. no consent of the girl. 
Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes two to it, tango. It, it, Jericho, it, it's difficult because, you know, we're going to need to sit down with you. I mean, if you're really going to forgive this girl, we got to sit down to you and, and find out why she cheated on you. We, we talked about this yesterday and we talk about it often. Yeah, girls when a just female don't cheats, cheat. Voila, yeah, they don't just cheat unless they're really shitty girls. Like, yeah. um, but, but you seem like a really nice guy, so I'm assuming that you, um, that you, or what even too it? much of a nice guy, like a pushover. Well, no. If you're a nice guy, then maybe you have a nice girlfriend. And oh, okay, okay. I just okay. don't Actually, see... Actually, I, I didn't think that she can do that to me because, I don't know, she's not just the, the type of person. But the thing is, I've asked her several times, what's the problem? And she just told her that she's just a little And the thing is, what she told me, that the problem is just piled up everything about... I don't know. For family, that's what her telling me. Okay, her wait, dad's wait, not wait. around. Um, she's paying the bills for her house and everything. Which is, I already told her that everything will be fine. Just don't um, make big problem out of it. Everything has a solution. Because okay, time out. Okay, then that, that was really whoa, 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 whoa. Her dad's not around. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, there okay, you go. So okay. she cheated. Oh wait, I mean, wait. Watch this. Watch this. Shh. She cheated with you. She cheated on you with an older man. Yeah. Be the married man. There you go. There you There's go. your answer. You I love how Pico like raised his hand like he won the bingo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, There's your answer. There you go. Love. Yeah, that's not around. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, it's not that simple. But if you're gonna look for something that it it where where that yeah. like where this ugliness is is kind of uh, brewing from, it's there. Cause she don't, you, yeah, that's cause, not around. Yeah, because love, uh, when it comes to, you know, like things like these, there are certain patterns of behavior and there are certain, not I wouldn't say symptoms, but there are certain reasons as to why do people do the things they do. And sometimes there are profiles to why they do the things they do. And in this case, because she, um, her dad is not around, so and, that would lead to, okay, yeah, her let, Yeah, let's not, man. okay, let's not be so like superficial, but like, just because her dad's not more often she cheated than on not. You. More but, right, yeah. I mean, not. you can find out certain clues. Like, you can't just go up to her and say, oh, things are going to be fine. And you expect her to go, oh, okay. No. I mean, you have to understand, we don't know what her life was like growing up. Yes. And if she's cheating on you with married men, married Actually, guys. it's just the first, first time. And um, she told me, I can see that, like, she sees it. I mean, I can really see it that she promised me that, She'll never do it again. I talked to her family. Her family supported us. I mean, supported her. Um, she, her dad is going to go home probably this summer just for this problem. And um, I don't know, man. I just I just want to forgive her. I just want to forgive her completely. Okay, so, so what, um, okay, so what do you want from us? If this is what you want, what do you want from us? Yeah, do you want my blessing? Do you want to say, oh, it's okay? Um, uh, how, what are the things that, I, that can help me to do this? Um, recover the thing. You're going to um, do it. I, uh, Jericho, you're going to do it. You're going to be fine. You have the drive. You obviously love this girl, and this yeah. is what you want. I think you're going to be okay. Yeah, I love her so and, much, and, man. And Yeah. I know. But hold on. Hold but on one second. Did she, did she have... trying to save her, though. It's almost like you're trying to be that savior well, Jesus well, complex. Well, no, 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 no. There, no, no, no. Not zero. No chance. No, we don't have that about us. No, because she said that, we, you know, I don't have money. I don't have this. And he no. said, don't worry. I'm going to take care of everything. Yeah, that's not saving anything that's i just love you trust me there's no you girls man sometimes you put these things into your mind that there's some sort of hidden mission in our part no 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 no. i think it's just more of as much as his intentions are to take care of her to provide for her to to ease the burden of whatever she's going through it doesn't matter in some cases, I'm not saying in this one that there are just some cases where it doesn't matter how much a person can love us so much and provide us with all the answers. Sometimes if the person just really has internal issues, there's just no battling with it. There's there's no saving no, no, I'm unless addressing, it comes listen, from Listen, I'm themselves. addressing the savior complex thing. That's not okay. always, I mean, that's barely ever true. It is just, I love you. And even if your life is fucked up, I'm going to go here and I'm going to sit through, I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit with you through it. It has nothing about saving you. I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try to save you from your problem. I'm not gonna save your life. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not here to fix anything about you. You are who you are, and I like you for who you are. Now, flaws and everything. My thing here is Jericho. Is this? Wait, hold on. Did she have sex with this guy? Yeah, that's that's what. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's <laughs> she tough. Is. Yeah, she has. I'm. Yeah, I'm that's sorry, a tough but it's man. like. All right. Well, Actually, okay. Jericho. She just dated it. Uh, 
it's fine with me, but the sex thing really hurts. <laughs> yeah, the sex thing is really <laughs> difficult. Of course. Up. Of course. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's the- let's do this. Uh, Jericho, let's do this. Yeah, uh, I know this is this is one of the more easy ways to look at a uh, at a situation. But let's look at the pros and the cons of everything here. I want you to do that. I want you to sit down and go, okay, this is what's good about my girlfriend and keeping this relationship, and this is what's bad about keeping my relationship. And write it down and look at it, assess it. Are my pros better than my cons? If they are, then great. But I'm telling you right now, it doesn't look that way. You're a nice guy. Yes. You've been in a relationship at a very young age with a girl. You already know I'm against that part. So you call the show, you tell me, hey, Mo, I know you're against cheating. Yes. Uh, I'm also against you dating long term your fucking teenage girlfriend. I'm it's against been, that too. We talked about that several times. And yeah, um, see, we're fighting the odds, but yeah, I, I didn't okay, expect so, this. Okay, you're fighting the odds and you lost. She slept with another guy. So let's, let's put the pros and the cons. The, con, the cons are she is a long term girlfriend that you had from your teenage years. Check. That's a bad sign. But let's say you guys are special individuals and you can power through. Okay, but you're not. Because why? She fucked a married man. Check. <laughs> Another reason, right? She cheated on you. Even though you thought she was perfect and nothing was going wrong. Check. What's there good about this? And when you make that list about the pros, you cannot put the her potential. Potential is not real. It's it could happen. She could be the most amazing wife, but we don't know that yet. So the pros are based on facts, on things that you've experienced with her, not what you think she can and don't, be. Don't put on the pros, sayang yung pin- pinagdaanan natin, sayang yes. yung three years. Those are all not, you can't put those on pros. Yeah. You can't put the, anything that says sayang on pros. You just, now obviously I've built this for you to tell you to break up with her because I've only brought out the cons. Well, because I don't know what the pros are. You're going to feel that. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be like, oh, but she's caring and she's this and she's that and we're great together. She yeah, is. put all Actually, of that she stuff. Is. Yeah. She's really great. And just this last week and everything just fucked up. But before that, everything was so great. I don't, I don't know, man. It just really hurt. And I, I really forgave her, but the pain is just still here. I just wanted to go away, but. Yeah, I'll consider what... Okay, Jericho, how about this? Okay, how about this? Let's forgive her. Let's tear up the list I told you to tear up and fucking throw it out. Because I obviously you know what you want. You want this girl back. You want to forgive her. You want to get over it. Just do me one thing. Yeah. Uh, don't let it eat away at you, but at least know that you're dealing with someone who's got a few issues growing up, a few issues with the family, maybe might do it again. And that I you agree. might have to go through this. You might have to go through this in the ordeal one more time. I do agree. It's- and also know whether she cheats on you again or not, the chances of you guys are breaking up are pretty high considering the fact that you guys were teenage sweethearts and you're trying yes. to do this long term. If you can deal with all of that, then happy Valentine's Day, buddy. Yeah, I do one agree. One the probability that- of that happening again is quite high. Uh, I'm sorry, go no, ahead, I think... Um, cause now it, is it okay if we give a little bit of time, space from each other? Is that okay? Nah. Or do we need to talk no. to fix this through? No. I mean, no, I, I the, think, the space think... isn't going to change what happened. What what needs to, I wouldn't say change, what needs to happen is you need to decide that yes, you're going to forgive her, you do really love her, and when and forgiving would it. actually mean that you're not going to hold it on her every time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's, that's, you actually that's what have I want to, to happen, learn how to fight, actually... I don't want to bring that back of every course. time. You're, you're, Jericho, not you're not... Well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jericho, you're not going to. You're not, yeah. you, don't seem to, you don't seem like the kind yeah. of guy who's built like that. I'm built yeah. like that. I'll bring that shit up forever. But yeah. you, you're, you're not, you don't seem to be that Yeah, type. because on, if you're just going to do that, then don't be together. You was know? this guy rich? Yeah. Was he rich? Uh, that, that's what I want to happen. That's what I want to be no, no, again. I no, mean, no, I is want he to rich? No, 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 no. Jer- Jericho, was the guy, was he wealthy? Um, not really. Not really. Yes. I was he, hoping, he, he, I was hoping I was rich. office mate. I mean, they're together. Nah, I don't know. Nah. Well, she, okay, she's, she's, gonna, she's gonna, she's, she's gonna have to leave that job too, probably. I mean, I, I think she's gonna have to change jobs too, bud. To adjust it, to it, everything what I want to do. Just to forgive her, just to give her another chance. That's what that's what her telling me. Uh, I just tell I her. No, I should tell her. I I would tell you. I think to succeed, she needs to be away from that guy. 
And yeah. I, it would start with looking for another job uh, as soon as possible, if you guys want this to I work. think that's, that's what she's doing right now. I mean, we're not talking because... Okay. Oh, we just lost. All right. Yeah, uh, I, I Jericho, just, I listen. Just, yeah. No, I no, wanted no, to say saying, I'd, go. I don't even want him to be with... I don't want him to, to be with her. Not because... Only because I feel she's going to do it again. And I feel, obviously, she has a lot of... Yeah, she hello, has I'm cert- back. Oh, Hi. Um, this is my personal opinion, and Mo can agree with me or not. But you know, I understand. Yeah, you you super love this girl, but this is just yeah, my I opinion. Do. I I think that because I can see how you are, you're just so devoted, and you're still so young. Like you should. I think you should not be with this girl. I I I can. In Mo's words, if I am a betting man. She's going to do this again. She has issues, and there's only so much love that you can give that... But that will, um, will she not learn from this? I mean, she, I can see that uh, she's really uh, devastated as well. I'm not, I'm, uh, everybody know, can grow from mistakes. Everybody. I mean, anyone can grow from mistakes. But the question is... Um, we don't know if it's going to happen right now or be with you. It can happen 10 years down the road and somebody else might ma- incur that change on her. But there's no guarantee that it will be you. And honestly, at your age, the two of you, and you're saying like things are still maybe going to work out with her dad. We don't know. But the point is, I... Bangaw. I really think that. <laughs> Sorry, my bangaw sa ilong ko. I think, <laughs> basically, I think that you you could be a, a lot happier if you're not just gonna be with this girl. I'm sorry. How about this? How about this, buddy? I'm sorry. Here's what I want. I, I want you. I want you to do what you want. If you want to forgive her, forgive her. I'm with you, buddy. Mm-hmm. And if you lose, you lose again, right? Do you, you like basketball? I'm trying to look for an analogy here yeah, outside yeah, of love. Okay, I'm you really like basketball. All right. How about this? If I was gonna tell you you were gonna lose this game. But instead of losing in the fourth quarter, where a lot of people lose, you're going to lose in double overtime. Would you want to lose in double overtime, or would you want to lose in fourth quarter? I, I don't even know if this is the right analogy, but I'll tell you this. Double overtime, you still lose. It still hurts. You're more tired. But at least you got two more quarters to play. And you gave right? it your last major yeah, so, shot. So, so listen, I'll tell you right now. You're going to lose this game. You're playing, you're going to lose it. Do you want to lose today or do you want to lose a couple years down the line two, two overtimes later? Yeah. Just lose two overtimes later because at least that time you're tired. Because right now if I told you the game's over at the end of the fourth but you have so much energy he you can score 15 more points and stuff like that, then yeah. I'm like, I'd rather lose in overtime. All right, yeah. let's put some overtime quarters there. Does that make sense? You're going to lose yeah, this yeah. game, man. So good analogy, man. Trip, right? I'm yeah. thinking about it. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. My worry just for you is not that I doubt your capabilities in getting over uh, some kind of hurt. It's just that, you know, later on, uh, if if she does this again, you're going to be really scarred. I mean, uh, I think know, if I want I to leave her, I can. I think I'm that. capable of moving on, but I just I'm didn't sure love you are. And, sure um, Yeah, you let's are. do it when you're really tired. So at least at the end of the game, you're like, Puta, man, I'm exhausted. I don't care if I lose anymore because I'm so tired. I just want to lie down. I, I, let's get to that level then. Let's forgive her. Let's see. You never know. She might change for the better. She, this might be just one little fucking mistake that she's made in her life that many of us have made. We've all cheated. Like, again, Bianca's cheated. Mm-hmm. I've cheated. We've all cheated. Mm-hmm. So maybe it was that one moment where we just kind of hit, you know, had that little fuck up and she, she's going to be fine. Or, like I said, maybe we'll lose in two overtimes. But at least you keep on playing for a little while. And uh, we'll give yeah. you our blessing for that, Jericho. I think you'll be fine. You, and again, it takes a certain kind of guy to pull that, pull this off. Yeah. I am not you. I would not tolerate it. But you are you. And you're a nice guy. You're a much better person than I am from the way you speak. So I think, <laughs> I, I think but you know, I look you've up got to a you, man, better chance. I, I like your input. So I called you because I want to get your opinion about this. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, really listen. Help, it, really it, help, yeah. No, the structure and framework is, is, is structure and framework. That's, that's the, that's the base. That's the foundation. How you want to work out the details and stuff like that is what makes you an individual. If you like my opinion on something, that's fine. It doesn't mean that you always have to fi- follow the same path. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. always make your own. So I don't that's agree what you're with doing. everything that you say though, but most of them Perfect. I agree with. Perfect. Great. So then try this. Let's see if it works out. You never know. But if okay, you, but again, if we so were, the space thing will not work out, Chad. This, yeah, this let's not do this. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Not do yeah. not as, especially if she's working at that job where that space, that void might be filled with him again. Ooh, you're in trouble. My question, how often do you see her? I mean, just before we go. Um, at least twice, thrice a week. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. You guys are young. Hey, do me a favor. Tell the, the wife. Shifting. Yeah, I'm, she's working on shifting schedule, so sometimes she works at night. And, I don't know. Okay. Tell the wife. 
Tell the wife. Have her tell the wife or you tell the wife. Okay? I did. I did. I, I did tell the wife. Oh, um, I don't know. I Excellent. did tell the guy because he scared him. And that time, and I, got, I was so mad that I told the guy that I'm going to fuck you up. And I think she was, she was very scared that she told, she told her wife. And the wife texted me that, please don't bother my family. Just do whatever you want with the guy. And just don't oh, I love it. Um, involve my... my oh, I'm going to have revenge, man. I'm not going to sit down. Yeah, this is my guy. Jer- Jericho, and, you're my um, guy, man. She messaged the girl that, my girlfriend, that I'm sorry to um, ruin your life and I'm losing my family. That's what um, he told my girl. Yay! Love this dude. Love him. All right. Thanks, buddy. You're the okay, best. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Huge fan. Good All right. All right. Thank thanks. You. Bye-bye. He's a key. Just make sure to get one. a guy. Just I make think. sure to get a guy. If you're going to threaten this guy verbally over the phone, don't be the one on the phone because you do not sound like a threatening fellow. He doesn't sound like a threat. When he says, yeah, I'm going to beat like, you up, man, it's like, really? Yeah. So and is that what they sound your, like please when don't I'm get, trying Yes. No, 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 no. That's what I'm going to say. Please don't get like a Konya Sashal guy because it's going to be like, Tangina, pari, pag nakita kita, dyan sa mga po tangina, green belt, pa, pa, boo, 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 you know, you don't yeah, need that. Really you need someone from the sound. streets. Totally, yeah. All right. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's go to uh, line three. He's been on hold for a fucking hour. Um, who do we have here? Sam, line three. You're 20 in Pasig. What's up? Oh, shit. What was that? Is he no longer there? Huh? All right. We'll get him back. Uh, let's go to line five. Kent, you're on line five. What's up? You are 20 years old in Pampanga. What? How, how can we help you, Kent? Hey, Kent. Hi. Can you hear me? Hey. I can hear you not very well, though. It'd be nice if you spoke up a little bit, but we'll we'll try what we can with what you're offering. What uh, do you got? Uh, so it's my question. Uh, if I may, can I tell a short story to fill in the details? Who are Oh shit! I didn't understand a word. Of I that. what? Um, try to step back from the microphone a little bit. Okay. There we go. Try it again. Uh, thank you. Uh, this will be quick more. Uh, last, last December, last year, uh, I think I'm at one of the biggest farm uh, company here in the Philippines, uh, uh-huh. as med rep. That was from, uh, my dream job. Okay. And yes, and we're about 600 applicants. Then, gladly, only 120 passed oh. to the previous exam and interview. And I'm included in the 120. And then, among 120, uh, we're being cut down like uh, just 27. All right. Yes, and I'm pretty sure that we have a high percentage of vehicles because we have 150 vehicles. Then uh, last week, we had our final interview with the director of the Dear Delhi director. Then, uh, it's like a sort of formality, but uh, it ha- it was good until he started to interrogate each and every one of us in a very big room. Then I answer each question uh, in smart way, just before we do this analysis. This myself as well, then. He told me that I passed and should wait for the training schedule that will be given February and which was yesterday. That Good I Lord, I only understand like 10% of this. Hold on, let me regroup again here. You uh, applied for a job. There were 600 applicants, cut down to 150 or 127, I forgot what you said, or 127 was cut down to 150 vacancies. You were interviewed then. I mean, you were passing all of the stages until you got to the interview process. Is that right? Yes, no, then I come this far and all of a sudden the uh, HR told me this morning that uh, my application process is on hold and pending. Uh, he said to me that it's better than it, but no, it is on hold and pending after three months of the series of interviews. Then what about Oh, shit. All right, Ken, hold on. I, I, I'm having a little bit of a difficulty understanding you just because the connection is so bad. Um, okay, so you're saying you were in all the way till the end and then HR... HR notifies you that you've not passed the, 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 I guess, the application process or you didn't, you weren't hired. That's correct? Yes, well, but the director told you that. Just wait for the training schedule. But uh, all of a sudden this morning, uh, the HR told me that I didn't pass. Then the, the, I asked for the director. Then the director is out of the country and will come back uh, this next week, Monday. So, what's the question? Uh, if I should continue uh, for my situation in this certain company or try any any other company or uh, other company as a uh, pharmaceutical company. I think you just wait till Monday and see what the what the word is. Um you know, just wait a little bit. You you came so far. And and you know the the, the thing is this is really part of 
applying for jobs, you really get so close until, I mean, it happens to everybody where they get so close and then they just don't get the project. It happens to celebrities. You know, you have to go to these auditions and you have to act in front of the director. And then all of a sudden you're in the next cut and the next cut and the next cut. And at the end, you're like, okay, you're the one. And then for some reason, whether it be your hair or you're this or you're that, it's just not right. They're going to go, you know what? We're going to pull you and we're going to put somebody else at the last second. That role is going to go to someone else. It, it's kind of yeah. like just part of life, especially when you're young. You're 20 years old. So please don't be so disappointed about how it all went down. They have the authority. They have the they have the right to hire or not hire anybody they want for whatever reason it may be. And if you got at the end and it sounded like you were promised this job, but at the end they just kind of made a quick turn and said, you know what? No, let's just give it to somebody else because I like that person more. It's not a personal attack on you. It's a business decision. Yes, so and, but, uh, last morning, you know, they gave me uh, a paper and they told me to write at least 100 words uh, what, uh, why it and you want to consider me, then uh, I just said, I would like to ask you if, uh, since you know that for Iskama, then I uh, you know that uh, I would like to take responsibility to my family in terms of monetary support. Of course, then I don't want to see my mom uh, go into work as early as 5 a.m. in the morning and go home late at night. You want to know if that's a good food. answer? Yes, ma'am. You, you want to know if that's a good answer? Yes, no, uh, I, I okay, hold on. That's, that's, that's a really great mom. question. Kent, Kent, that's a great, great question. Fuck, man, I love this question, and we've never got it before. So I'm going to put you on hold because I, I can't really hear you that well. But yeah. Let, or, or, wait, hold on. Let me just at least regroup what the question is, and then you're, you have a paper to write, 100 words. Is that right? Because that doesn't seem like much. Uh, did you say 1,000 words? At least 100 words. Okay, so they want a few sentences, um, more, like a, more like a few paragraphs, sorry. Uh, of why you should be considered for this job. So you're not not hired. You're just right there on the bubble. You can either make it or break it with this essay. Yes, Mo. Uh, do you want to know if uh, I don't see no that? So can I tell you? I'm sorry, what? What? If, uh, do you want to know if uh, I see no that? So? No, 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 no. I, I, we, we don't have time for that on air, but maybe you can email it to me. And I, I definitely want to help you. But let me, let me just... Um, one last thing. So you're going to write this letter. Is this an international pharmaceutical company, like a multinational, sorry, or is this a local pharmaceutical company? Oh, it's the number one local company, the top local company. So it's a, it's a Filipino company. With, and, and the people who are going to read this are Filipinos. Yes, no, yes. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck, man, that audio sucks. Yeah, it's okay. sorry, I'm Ken, so it's sorry. not your fault. It's just, it's just, fuck, man, it's so difficult. I had to pee I really so help bad you. I left. No worries, no worries. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, Here's the thing. It's very Pinoy. It's super Pinoy to do this. I, I do contests on Twitter all the time. Yeah. And when I say, I'm giving away shoes, I'm giving away laptops, I'm giving away phones. Yeah, and tell me why you should win 90% of my answers are, maawa naman po. Maawa naman po sa amin. You know, wala na akong pera. I need to send my thing to this. I need to that. Yeah. It's a very Pinoy thing to do. It's, in, it's ingrained in our culture that if you want something, you have to... A lot of the time, a lot of people choose to sound like life is over for them. They're desperate and they need a freebie. Mm -hmm. And I, as much as I want to read them, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for why you deserve this. Yeah. Not why you need it. Because Wait, what did you say earlier can, that can that is such a good question? We've never had this on the, the question, show. What yeah, was the question? The question is, what do I write on the paper to show that I'm capable for this I'm job. I'm worthy. Okay. And he's, his is, well, my, I don't want my mom to work. I don't want my mom to work and she's old and I don't want her to come home late. That is not the answer. Kent, don't ever yeah, put that on paper Yeah, because to them ever. it's like, we don't give a fuck about your mom. What well, about Well, it's not mom? that we don't give a fuck about your mom. Is what? Remember, this is an investment we're making in you for our company. What can you bring here? Yeah. Not why you, why should we hire you because we should feel bad for you. Yeah. Why should we hire you so we can feel good about you and what you can bring to, this, the right to the decision. table? Yeah. Never, ever, 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 ever do the ma'awa po kayo sa amin letter. The plea Never. of pity. And it's a okay. very common thing that I see in our culture. It's not wrong because it's part of who we are, but you're not going to get hired. 
I guess it's, I guess like a lot of people always like to appeal to you know the heart, the conscience, the well, you know, we're, we've been a conquered, thing. we've been a conquered, you know, historically we're just a yeah. conquered group of people. I mean, people yeah. come in, they kick our ass, and they tell us what to do, and we sit there and we ask for freebies. Yeah. Well. I mean, I mean, it, it, we ask for freebies constantly, and it's fine because there should be prizes and giveaways. It makes things more fun, but. You have to word it properly, and you have to know when to do it. This is not when to do it. So what would you say? If I said I'm giving away a year's worth of uh, groceries, 99% of my answers are I'm starving. I would like that, please. And as much as I know you are, and as much as I know you want your mom to not have to work, I don't want your mom to work. I love my mom. When I heard you tell me that story, I felt for you, man, because – that's exactly how I carry myself as well. I don't want my mom to work. But that's not going to get me the fucking job. So it is about what you can bring to the company, how your skill set, how your experience, well, not much at 20, I'm assuming, but how your personal makeup is perfect for this company and how you can make them prosper. It's a win-win for us, I would say, because... I know I can get this job done. I know because look, I mean, I've made it this far and I know I'm not maybe your number one choice, but I'll tell you, whoever your number choice, number one choice was, I'm going to be working as hard as that guy. I might even be better than him. I will not, you will not regret picking me because I'm going to work my ass off. I'm do this. I'm good at what I do. I know it. I'm passionate. And like yeah. it, 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 being employed by your company is not just my goal. My goal is to go in there and kick some ass. I like that. You know, it's a, uh, it's maybe it's a very lame comparison, but it's kind of like when guys are trying to convince a girl to date them or be their girlfriend. You know, you want the guy who was like really confident, like they actually know what, like you said, offer to the girl, like not money. And I'm not talking about money. Uh, we're talking about just integrity, character. And we're not talking about like, you know, just date me. Like I've, I've just never had a girl. Yeah, you, don't, yeah, you, don't, yeah, you can't do that. You can't go, oh, yeah. why would I date you? Oh, because I don't have any ever had a girlfriend before. And yeah. it's been really lonely. And, and, you'd and be people like, like the what best. the fuck? Like you're the savior. Like, no, you know, you want someone in you a know, way I've, like I've that's only, a bit cocky. I've like, but only you know, had a one cocky job. that can back it up. Yeah. Okay, I've only had one job aside from showbiz, and that's when I was a student. I applied to be a 911 operator at a police department. Wow. And when they asked okay. me, why you? Especially in a girl-dominated job. I mean, you're going to be the only boy. Why would I pick you over all of these other ones who want to do this? I said, mm -hmm. I don't make mistakes. Or I don't make mistakes twice. Like, if I go in there and I'm going to train hard, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really good at it, if I make a mistake, I'm going to learn from it. You're not going to see me do it again. And here's the thing. When I walk down those halls, I am so built to be admired that when I walk those halls, I want everybody to know that that's the best one right there we have. That, that, that guy, he's the best. That's what I told him. And he said, are you sure you want this job? You don't want to be like a police officer instead or something? I'm like, no, no, no. I want this job. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but maybe you'd be more interested in doing something even more important, quote, unquote. I'm like, no, no, no. I want that job. Because when I walk on those walls, like I take my radio show, when I fuck them all, when I'm on fucking radio or when I'm doing this podcast, I am the fucking best at this. You can put up your own goddamn podcast. You guys can put up your own companies. You guys do not do this, your show better than I do my show. God damn it. I love so it. No matter what wants you bring, to sleep with you now. Yeah, Look. no, no. No matter what you bring to this podcast, radio, whatever, you don't do it better than me ever. That's me. You yeah, think in the fourth quarter confidence. we talk another base when we talk another basketball thing? You think when Michael when when Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant's gonna or Kevin Durant or LeBron James at the end of the fourth, you think they think they're gonna miss that shot? You better give me the motherfucking ball. Why? Because I'm the goddamn best. Now I might not make it. I may not be the best. Maybe they're higher rating. Maybe there are more podcasts that download yeah. better. No, but not really. Listen to our show, it's better. But I have a question for you, like you were saying, because that approach, yes, truly is effective. I, I do it myself too in, in certain situations, but I find that when it comes to foreign cultures, especially, you know, not the Filipino, very sentimental type, um, yeah, it works. But for the Filipino, Filipino mentality, they like the more ma'amo 
type of uh, no see that's approach. what I'm saying that's why I asked them is it multinational pharmacy yeah. is it pharmaceutical is it local if it's local you not too much confidence yeah. I can't say that all the time because I can't say like what I just said on the radio because yeah people know, are going like, to be like yeah, you turn it exactly. off I'm talking about the feeling you the feeling inside you yeah the feeling that hey listen I'm good at this and I could be the best at it now how you put that into words where you don't try to sound super mayabang that's up to you Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go on this podcast every single day and say we're the fucking best. I don't do that. Yeah. But I'm telling you, if you're going to ask me off the record, Mo, magaling pa talaga yung podcast mo, I'll be like, putang ina. <laughs> yes. Are you fucking kidding me? Who do you think you're talking to? This fucking show's yeah. best. Until I respect another one's pro- program, this is by far a better one. Now, that's how I feel. Now, if I said that every single day, you guys wouldn't listen to me because why would you want to listen to a guy who thinks he's always number one? Yes. But God damn it, inside, please, Kent, when you're writing this letter, write it not because you want your family to starve or don't want them to starve, not because you don't want your mom you know, yeah. to be working. I want you to write this letter because you are an asset to the company that you're applying for, that your contribution will earn them money and success, and they will be proud of their decision to hire you. That's the point. And yeah, even if even if they can't actually see you, they can't hear you. You know, when you, I mean, the fact that books are just something of treasure, it's because you can actually feel the passion of the person writing. Like you can tell when it's an empty sentence and, 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 or something with so much. I'm going to make this as a lesson for you. When somebody sends you a message and says, da, 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 and you're like, oh my God, you know what I do? I sit there and I go, who the fuck are you compared to me? Girl, I didn't know that. But yeah, it, it comes to mind. I'm just like, mm, yeah. That's why I don't get affected. It's like, who are you? Oh, I get what a lot of shit. But this one, kapal na mukha niya. <laughs> there we go again. Gross. Getting all hyper. Kent, make sure your letter says how awesome you are. Not too much though, because it's a local pharmacy. <laughs> but just say, hey, listen, I am perfect for this position. I will not make mistakes. And I love Mo. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. At Globe, we believe that every subscriber can give back hope to those who need it most. On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Yolanda devastated Eastern Visayas. In the wake of the disaster, many subscribers and partners took part in Bangun Pinoy, Globe's response to nation building. For that important call or text to let their loved ones know they are safe, Globe immediately reconnected the people of Samar and Leyte to the rest of the country. The products and services of Globe became instruments to bridge families and friends from the Visayas to the rest of the Philippines and the world. As need for aid grew, Globe, together with its employees, subscribers, partners, and volunteers, went through all possible means to reach out to those in need. But this does not end at relief. With the help pouring out of the generosity of our subscribers, the Bangun Pinoy Camp was established in Giwan Leyte as a testimony to the long-standing program Globe established to rebuild the provinces affected by Typhoon Yolanda. Through the downpour of love from our loyal customers, Globe is also committed to help the people of Eastern Visayas get back on their feet and stay connected to their loved ones. To our loyal customers and subscribers, we send our heartfelt thank you for your kindness and generosity. You have changed the fate of thousands of our fellow countrymen by helping us raise pledges and donations worth over 50 million pesos to uplift the unwavering Filipino spirit. Now your continued volunteerism can help recovery efforts in Eastern Visayas. By sharing your time, treasure, and talent, you can help build and repair homes, send kids back to school, and allow communications technology to bring a brighter future to these communities. In doing your part, you can help our brothers and sisters rise again. Thank you for helping us create a wonderful Philippines. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... 
like a double blowjob. Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across the country. See? I see one right there. <sighs> What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent. It's you, do you read me? Respond, Agent C. Do you copy? What's your status? Do you copy? Do you copy? Do you copy? Where am I? There seems to be no signal tower in this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agent Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! Secure permission. Secure permission! To the Homeowners Association meeting. Homeowners Association office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um... Cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh, great. Just the proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites. We need to set up a cell site within this village. We don't need that. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets. They feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. Oh. But what about the health risks? Yeah, Fear not. Health risk? Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi completely harmless. 
think about That's it. That's exactly what we need. Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That super Agent CT now! Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it, you're done. Congratulations and welcome to the new Media Factory family. Take a little sunshine. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 oh what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday.
friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Okay, I have a very important question for you, Bianca. And this is we're still we're still on this topic. How do we get do rid you, of spam on the phone? No, no, no. Do you Okay. Off air, you said you don't hear how you're saying it, and that maybe we're exaggerating about how we, when we mimic you, that you don't actually hear yourself sounding. When I say fucking, yeah, when you go fucking and all that, when you do that, you say you don't hear it the way we hear it. So I have a, I I have a question for you. Sound that terrible? Okay, well, <laughs> do you think, do you hear Chris Aquino and do you hear her the way we hear Chris Aquino? Or when you hear like a Rufa Gutierrez, do you hear her like we hear her or do you just hear her like she's just like a normal person? Like when you hear this. I don't know. Puro na because I don't have sex. <laughs> Does that sound normal to you? No, but I'm sorry, I don't watch them. Uh, it's not <laughs> you know who saying. they are right yeah you know of course who they are? but okay, I, I like honestly and, I, I could not think of Rufa's voice like right now I've never heard I've never seen Rufa on television in my life I, and I work with her we do TV yeah. shows together I don't yeah. think I've ever seen an episode but I know what she sounds like and and, and, and Rufa's obviously I love Rufa she's a good friend of us she's been yeah. on the show many times love you Rufa but let's be honest <laughs> the way you speak is the way you speak and you it's very distinct and I want to know if people who have distinct way of, ways of speaking can also single her out as a unique individual or do they sound normal and just like everybody else like Paris because, Hilton has a certain way of talking okay because because like for example Rufa or say Chris mm-hmm. to the more exaggerated extent Chris mm-hmm. sounds different from everybody else. To no, us. I can hear how annoying Chris sounds. Of course, I. That's probably okay. why I don't watch right. her either. You know, right. so. But I, but but she she probably doesn't know it. Or maybe she does, and she just doesn't care. I'm sure people have told her. Come on, I'm I'm sure. I'm mm. so sure. Mm. And she just mm-hmm. doesn't care. Yeah, she just doesn't care. Hmm. Okay, I just wanted to ask because when you said you don't you don't hear it the way we hear it, I just wanted to ask, well, do you hear it when she speaks, or do you hear it when say like a Rufa speaks? You know that that very well, with distinct Chris Aquino, way. for sure, I do hear it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, that's all I wanted to ask. Well, thank that's a good God. experiment. I, well, Whew. thanks. Oh, yeah. is no, it no, because no. like if I don't hear it, I'm abnormal? No, I just wanted to know because I no 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 I wanted to know if you didn't hear it, like. As the, differently from how we hear Chris. Oh no, I hear. Like, it, I want to know if you hear I it. I fucking hear it. All right, all right. No, I mean, listen. I'm not. It's like it's, I can close my you. eyes and I know it's her voice. I'm not picking on. I'm just saying. I just want to be realistic. No, you guys, it's okay. You no, know, you grew up. You grew up. You know, you you're wealthy. You're rich. Rich girl. And I'm not. I'm not always giving shit to the rich people, which I do because I like pitch, picking on rich people. But you know, maybe because you guys grow up with a certain kind of lifestyle that, you know, it, it dictates a certain way you speak. That's all. And I want to know if you heard it in the way she did because she's a rich girl too. And so is Rufa. That's all. You get what I'm saying? I guess. Yeah. It's like if, if I was a black guy and I said the N-word all the time, would I realize I'm actually saying the N-word? Do I hear it differently than for when, say, someone who's not black who hears the N-word? Okay, Absolutely, okay, I hear I get it, it differently. Now. Yeah, okay, I get it. Because I hear like, whoa, that's the N-word. Can't say that word. But to them, it's like, no, no, it's not. We can say whatever we want. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But I hear it differently. I just want to say. Yeah, but you hear it differently. It's not the way I hear it. I'm like, okay, that's right. You're noted. That's all. No, I guess the only reason why I'm reacting that way, it's not because like, oh my God, why do I sound like that? It's just more of, oh my God, do I sound like that? That is terrible. Sometimes. <laughs> more like Jesus, Bianca. Sound cuter. Sometimes. Yeah, that's all. Well, well you sound younger and you're, well, and the other thing, you're more beautiful by far. By far. So we forgive more of it. Oh God. Anyway. That's- Moving there's on. a lot of uh, there's a lot of buzz on spam, uh, mobile spam, but did you know that you can block messages <laughs> from spammers on your iPhone? You know that, Bianca? Yes, Here's I, how to do exactly. it. Exactly. Open the te- open the spam text. Click on contact at the upper right hand corner. Click on the letter I next to the number you wish to block. Then scroll down and click on block this caller. Then uh, click confirm. Really easy. Globe is with you in putting a stop to mobile spamming. So do please report these spammers to Globe by tweeting at talk to Globe, or you may send a message to Globe's contact form by visiting globe.com.ph slash talk to Globe now. Do take note of the number of the spammer, the message of the time and the date. Maybe even better, take a screenshot and uh, send it in there. There All right, go. good stuff. Are you ready to go? Are you ready so to take more calls in totally. the best goddamn podcast in the world? 
We're not just the best. Is there even a word as the bestest? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. The most uh, phenomenal. Yeah. Line six, Ibarra, you're 23. Yeah. Paranyake, what's up? Hello, what's up? Hey, hey, buddy. This here's Bianca. She's beautiful. What do you got? <laughs> Hi. Hello. How can we help you? Hi. Hey, dude, kasi may problema ako yung jowa ko. Ano yung pag-sex natin? Okay. Ayaw mag-text or ayaw mag-sex? Sex. Ah, ah kala ko sa. text. Kala ko text din. <laughs> Sige, so yung girlfriend mo, hindi na siya nagsa-sex with you. Did yeah, she say why? Na, three months na yun, pare. You Put haven't had sex months. with your girlfriend in three months? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Did she say why? Well, sabi niya, wala daw time, walang place. Eh, usually, lagi naman yung magkasahami. Okay, and then how often, at your peak, in your prime, how often were well, you guys having sex before? Around three, three to four times a week. Most of and did time. she, a lot of the time, did she initiate the sex or was always you yeah, initiating the sex? Yeah, she initiated the sex. How long have awesome. you been together? Hmm. Around five, five, six years. No, that, 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 there you go. Okay, that's a, that there already says yeah. a lot. Thanks, Bianx. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Time to move on, Ibarra. Can't stay with the person that you dated when you were yeah. 15 years old. Mm. Gotta move on. Girl, that's that's lang yun. Uh-oh. Yep. Medyo Sorry, nagsawa na ng konti. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the sawa thing. It's just you guys are, are you are different people now. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't mean that she doesn't love you. No, um, yeah, totally. Ibarra or anything like that. But you guys are just different people now. Yeah. And Parang I think... the libog back then is not the same oh, as now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, ganun yung relationship has taken its toll na ganun. Yep. You guys have made a good run. Yeah. A good I run. Mean, I mean, obviously, you you guys still respect each other and whatever, but we're just talking about like that that sexual attraction, that chemistry. It you know, parang that that fire has kind of died. Already. I go even beyond that. I yeah. I say that you probably are more brother sister now than you are boyfriend girlfriend. Parang. Yes? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that means that there's means no more the lust for each other. So it's yeah, why let's still doesn't well, get Bianca, nasty. You're really, you're, now, Bianca, you're really focusing on the sexual, as you should, because it, that's his question. But it, I bet you it's way beyond that. It's not just. That's why I said it's more brothers. No, I don't want to assume. It's not, I just don't. It's assume. not even just with the sex. It's well, thank you for not assuming. But it's not even just with the sex. I'm sure that you guys are like pals now, more than anything. And, but I love it. Al mo yung joa ko hindi nito mag-sex. I told you. See, you see the difference between the guys in the streets, man. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so Ibarra, I think what you what needs to happen here is that you should think about a uh, possible breakup coming up soon. Uh, maybe yeah. not now because it's Valentine's, but you know, maybe within the year because this is what it's going to be like. Break, break up again. Hey, well, no, not, no, not, well, no, not see, break that's, up that's what again. I said. Not, not break up again. It, you know, listen, you're an airplane, you're at 30,000 feet, and it's time to descend on the airport. You don't just drop, you know, you slow down. Yeah. Descend a little bit. And then if you want to land, now, if you want to stay in this fucking thing of no sex and all of that stuff, then God bless you. Enjoy. But you're not going to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, because what's going to happen is you're just going to end up presenting her. Then the more pa bitter feelings and then her mag guilty siya. And then the more pa she'll get annoyed. It's, it's unnecessary when you guys can just talk it out and be honest with yourselves and like, look. We obviously have blah, 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 blah. So what? Should we even still stay together? Parang at least, obviously, you guys are still in friendly terms. So, I, you know, it's still worth saving. At least maintain that friendship and be civil and be done with it. Yeah, it, there's a nice way to break up yeah. to take a break from each other just to see what else. Just tell her, if you have, if you have no time, because I said, we don't time. If you have no time, why don't, we, why don't we do this? Let's take a break from each other. Yeah. But you can fix all the things you want to fix. And then when you, you know, this this is obviously not true, but these yeah. are things people say, right? Yeah. So you say, you know, you just fix all the things you need to and fix. And then when the time is right, yeah. And then when the time is right, but like the time, then we can have that excitement that we had when we were 15. Yeah. Which, of course, is bullshit because it's not realistic. But at least you can say that so you sound like a yeah. good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then later on, you guys are going to get together, get together meaning as friends, and then you laugh about it and be like, what were we thinking about getting back together? You know, it's, 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 I think the both of you, even her, for all you know, let's say she really is super busy. She, it doesn't even cross her mind of, fuck, I think we need to break up. Sometimes you actually have to bring it up for her to realize, oh, nga, no. You know what I mean? So, Ibarra, um, aside from not having sex, are there any other problems? Well, actually, in love. In love, yeah. We're pretty right. close, man. 
Yeah. It's come to a, a point in your relationship, the comfortability. I guess, yeah, like Mo said, parang magkapatid na kayo. Oh, mm. Is it really like that? Is, are you? I mean, I, I mean, I was just guessing. I could be wrong, yeah. but is it like more brother and sister now than than boyfriend girlfriend? Um, well, parang ganun na nga, pero yeah. syempre, ganun pa rin, exciting pa rin, making it okay, well, pa rin, yeah. okay. Well, then why don't you think? Why don't you talk to her about it? Let's just yeah. just talk to her. About it. Just say, hey, listen. I know we haven't had sex in three months, and I know there's not a lot of time, but we should at least try to squeeze it in. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want us to sound like we want everybody to break up. It's just, I'm just trying to be realistic, man. Yes. When you guys to get together at 15 years old, there's no way you're going to keep this this long. It's, yeah. it's so difficult. But if you really want to try still, then yeah, there's nothing wrong with trying. Mm-hmm. I, 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 don't want all, I don't want to always sound so negative about break up, break up, break up. But all right, let's try. Sige, try more. Go, continue to do it. But you're going to be frustrated because you're not having sex four times a week like you used to. Yeah. Talk to her about it. Say, hey, you know, it's been three months. Not that I'm, not that that's the only thing I'm looking for. And I don't want to sound like a complaining, but things have changed. And I just want to know if everything's okay. Should we start getting back? <clears throat> Should we start getting intimate again? Just because, you know, I don't want us to lose this excitement we have for yeah. each other. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All righty, okay. Bara. Rock on, buddy. Thanks, 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 and I, I like this guy too because mo- most You're guys, welcome. most guys would be like, "I'm breaking up with my girlfriend. Why? She don't fuck. She don't suck my dick anymore. <laughs> she used to suck my dick four times a week, but now she doesn't even fucking lick uh, my balls." No. Yeah. Um. All right, we gotta get out of here because I know the staff said they need to pack mm-hmm. up early. We we just do we do too much overtime shit here. Okay. So um. Tomorrow we have Joyce. Pring, we haven't yes. had her back in a really long time, yes. so it'll be cool to have her. Boy, we had a lot of calls we didn't take today. Paul's got a Chinese girlfriend. He's Filipino. Mother says no, cannot date him. Uh, let's just, maybe we should answer some of these off air, and then like right. I mean, not with the callers, just so we can get get these people who were on hold. Right. You want to do right. that? I'll sure, read it sure, off. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, we'll okay. Okay, so Paul here, but let's just make like one sentence each. Um, Paul's nineteen. He has a Chinese girlfriend. He's Filipino. A week ago, mother said, well, the mother forbids the both of them for seeing each other because of the, uh, you know, that the, the whole fucking, yeah. yeah, racial thing. Yeah. So, uh, what say, how say you? No, if he was older in his 30s, then it shouldn't be a problem. You'll be able to prove to the family that, you know, ultimately it's who you are. It's not what you're born with, with, with your race. But at 19, um, it's also a convenient excuse that the mom is giving that. Whether or not it's the truth, because you're 19. She's just protecting her kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably a lot to do. I mean, obviously, there are going to be 25, 30-year-old like, families that still say, hey, no way, can't, can't date out of the Chinese thing. Yeah. But when you're young, they're going to try to at least make that impression on you. They try to brainwash you that it's wrong as much as they can, which yeah. you'll, she'll hopefully break out of anyway, or probably already broke out of it now, the fact that she's dating you. Um, if the mo- mother forbids... It really isn't in the ball's not in your court anymore. It's in your girlfriend's because she's right. that's her mother. So it's, mm-hmm. it depends what she says. If she says sorry, sorry, man. It's yeah, just and the way even it is. if your girlfriend chooses to stay with you because at nineteen, the parents will be very, very, very protective. So it's also going to be harder for the both of you to try think, and maintain it, that relationship. Think of it as like religion. I mean, like if you're going to date a girl who's Iglesia and you're Catholic and she's a teenager, her parents are very Iglesia, you're, the chances of you being able to pull this off are very slim. Now, if she was 25 and her own independent woman, even though she was Iglesia, you'd see that there are relationships that are actually successful in that yes. capacity because they can stand up for their own. Yeah. But when you're a teenager, very difficult to go against the family. So you might have to wait a while with this girl or she has, she's going to have to do the stand. But besides the balls in her court, unfortunately, you don't always want to put all of the burden on the female, but it is true in this case. Mm-hmm. Um, Alex says, how do I stop having sex with my boss? She's from Cebu. Shocking. Um um, don't well, have sex with your boss. I, I, I think you need to change jobs if it means jobs. that she might fire you. You know, I mean, right now she does have the upper hand, literally. So you will have to change jobs because whether or not you, you, you are resisting because you really want to fuck her or you're resisting, you can't resist because she might fire you. Ultimately, you're on the losing end. So I'd say jobs. start looking for a job. Yeah. And when you find another job, fuck her one more time. <laughs> um, 
Toretto says, how do I tell my wife that I want to live separately from her family without offending her because they have children, but they all live in the same house with the family? Oh, oh fuck. that is um, touchy. It depends. Can you afford to live on your own? Maybe a, a lot of the reason why you're living with the family is because they got a lot of money and it helps with the expenses because you do, in fact, have children. Um, it, it, I think the best thing to do is maybe move down the street. That always helps. It kind of just, That's you know, true. At least you, or if it's kind of like everybody loves Raymond. You know, they're just across the street. Yeah. So at least they feel like you're not really taking their daughter away from, uh, from them. Cause sometimes that's how parents are. They just really want the whole family literally together. So yeah, I think it, a good start it, it, would be. They're also just like, one of the homes where Bianca's neighbor, neighborhood is look like where you can put a house in the backyard because they have like some sort of estate or some shit, then think about doing that first. <laughs> Build a little fucking house in the backyard so you don't have to fucking actually be under the same roof, but you're still within the same compound. It, it, it's not what you're looking for, but it's baby steps for what you ultimately want No, no, but the achieve. question is how is he going to tell the wife without being offended? Yeah, just say I want to walk around with my dick hanging out with my balls just kind of dragging along <laughs> beside me, but I can't do that in this house. So can we build a fucking house right next to your parents' house? You know, yeah. but you're again, you're 33. Yeah. You want to live a little bit independently. I get it. Yeah. So have the but conversation. But I have a feeling, yeah, the parents would probably say something like, Wag na, you know, magagasta ka pa ng pera. You can live naman here. And we're all helping you. And you can save up. Then you said, okay, na yeah, but tita, yes, tita, pero tita, or mom, tita. My balls dragging on the floor. Do you like the sight of that? <laughs> no? Okay, great. Then we're moving. Yeah. No, have the conversation. I don't think you're going to offend her. It's really, look, listen, everything is semantics in this world, man. Like when I was talking, when I talked to Bianca, when I talked to Gian, when I talked to Ange, when I talked to Pico, there are ways I have, the, the, the message has to come across and there are certain words that you have to fucking make sure is non-threatening and it's not, if you need it to be threatening then make it threatening you know what i mean like the the message it's is all in the delivery the same but it's the it's message all in is the, the same. semantics yeah. it's all in the choice of words it's in the, the tone of your voice it's in the cadence of how you say yeah. it you have to take all of these things into consideration when bianca's here crying and shit you'll hear me i sound different when she's laughing it up and this and this you and then i need to tell her something you see me it sounds different same with pico same with Ange. same with all of us it's like it depends on the mood if you can read the mood, you know which words to say, right? I, I, before we go, I personally think because man to man, you know, if, if the father was the one who provided for the whole family, appeal to the father and be like, I know you would understand that I want my own time with my wife and I want to feel that I'm the one providing for her. Why? Because you want to fuck her in the kitchen? Yeah, man, ganon, yung mga, I need to make jacol in front of like her and without worrying that you're going to walk in on us. I mean, appeal to his manhood you know man to man you can't appeal to the mom you can't do it because ultimately it will more or less be up to the dad so i suggest you actually talk to the dad all right yeah. well that's all the time we got we got to get out of okay. here there are some questions here that we couldn't get to um also but sorry guys we're running out of time caller of the night who do we like i, I, I like I um know. help me uh, how about the guy who applied for that job that they didn't get it Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, he needs to answer in a hundred words why he needs a job. Well, I mean, why yeah. he deserves a job. All right. So let's take a commercial break. I saw we have one more break, but I'm sorry. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll say our goodbyes and uh, wrap up tonight's episode. It's Good Times More, the podcast brought to you by Globe. Bianca Valerio here tonight. You can follow her on Twitter at Bianca underscore Valerio. Follow me on Twitter as well at DJ Mo Twist. I'm giving away some crazy prizes online like um, the new Kobe's, the Kobe 9s, giving away Mosh and VIP tickets, Mosh Pit and VIP tickets to the Macklemore and Ryan Lewis concert coming up next month. We got uh, Jordan shoes, just a bunch of stuff. So do follow me on Twitter when you can. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. At Globe, we believe that every subscriber can give back hope to those who need it most. On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Yolanda devastated Eastern Visayas. In the wake of the disaster, many subscribers and partners took part in Bangun Pinoy, Globe's response to nation building. For that important call or text to let their loved ones know they are safe, Globe immediately reconnected the people of Samar and Leyte to the rest of the country. The products and services of Globe became instruments to bridge families and friends from the Visayas to the rest of the Philippines and the world. As need for aid grew, Globe, together with its employees, subscribers, partners, and volunteers, went through all possible means to reach out to those in need. But this does not end at relief. 
With the help pouring out of the generosity of our subscribers, the Bangun Pinoy Camp was established in Giwan Leyte as a testimony to the long-standing program GLOBE established to rebuild the provinces affected by Typhoon Yolanda. Through the downpour of love from our loyal customers, GLOBE is also committed to help the people of Eastern Visayas get back on their feet and stay connected to their loved ones. To our loyal customers and subscribers, we send our heartfelt thank you for your kindness and generosity. You have changed the fate of thousands of our fellow countrymen by helping us raise pledges and donations worth over 50 million pesos to uplift the unwavering Filipino spirit. Now your continued volunteerism can help recovery efforts in Eastern Visayas. By sharing your time, treasure, and talent, you can help build and repair homes, send kids back to school, and allow communications technology to bring a brighter future to these communities. In doing your part, you can help our brothers and sisters rise again. Thank you for helping us create a wonderful Philippines. Says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right. Let's get out of here tonight. Yes. See you guys tomorrow. Have I'll a see great you next evening. Week. Thanks for all your calls. Yes, thank and you. And you Bianca won't be here on the seventeenth, correct? Oh, that's right. I won't be here the seventeenth, and I won't be here on the fourteenth. Yes. So this Friday and Monday. That's right. Yes. That's right, that's right. And for those of you who don't know, it's because he's going to be watching and interviewing the basketball players for the NBA All Stars. Cool. That's right. Yeah. Um. Hold on. I was going to say something else. I could do the show from. Can, hold on, can I do the show from there? I can. I mean, I could bring the equipment and all this stuff, but it's so early. Nah, I'll probably be working. Never mind. That's fine. <laughs> I I'll probably <laughs> fuck it up my vacation. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys tomorrow on the show. Thanks yeah. for being for being here. Thanks, our staff. Always doing such an excellent job. And, uh, yeah, for the people that download this program, spread the word to your friends. We appreciate you guys very much. And see happy Valentine's. Advance. That's right. Happy Valentine's to you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.